Well, hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I'm Dave. I'm Janine. And we're here in somewhere in Utah. What? Southern Utah. Southern Utah. I think it's a town called Pariah. I don't even know if that's really the name or not. But uh, yeah, we're here on a Thursday because that's our life. We're awesome. Uh, we're in our PJs uh, and we're hanging out here at sunset here. Check this out. Is that gorgeous or what? Take a look at this. Unbelievable. And our awesome little bed and breakfast, which is so exclusive it has one room and we have it. Here at the uh, world famous, let's see if I can get this to stand up. World famous Par Pariah, Paria, Paria Outpost Restaurant. So since we're having such an awesome time and to celebrate our winning a, uh, a lottery to go see the wave at Coyote Buttes, um, which was awesome by the way, we're here on Highway 89 and we have a bottle of uh, incredible Merlot. This is Bailey uh, 2003 Estate Bottle Temecula Valley Merlot. Um, we really love this uh, winery. Every time we go to Temecula, there's always lots and lots of whites to taste. And it's just refreshing to have a winery that puts out some unbelievable reds. And Bailey never disappoints when we go down there to taste the red wines. This is a uh, Merlot 14-4. And uh, grapes were grown on the estate. This is 30 months in French American oak. Um, really, really good stuff here. So we're going to give this a try. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ladies first. You'll notice the uh, exclusive stemware we're using today. <laughs> um, we have really nice uh, plastic wine glasses, but we didn't bring them. All right, so the color, if you can see that, uh, is actually really, really nice. Um, I don't know, how would you describe it? It's on the, almost like garnet. Very, very garnet, garnet. I guess. Dark, deep, serious garnet action going on here. Uh, real, really nice deep color. Not thin at all. Um, really, really nice. Coats the glass real well. Uh, let's give it a sniffy sniff, shall we? Uh, what do you get on there? Definitely old world. Old world. Lots of like soil, mushroom. A little bit of cherry. So uh, over the big rig truck, she gets a uh, soil, mushroom, and a little bit of cherry. I too get that old world. Definitely lots of uh, of of, of leather, leather, saddle leather is nice in there. And yeah, nice, good old world smell. Real mushroomy. Some green pepper, raw green pepper. Just not not cooked or sautéed. You just grab a green pepper from the grocery store, <laughs> bite right into it. That's what I'm getting here. So let's give it a uh, let's give it a whirl. Mm. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Why did uh, we spit that out? I don't know. Why did we spit that out? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get on the on the palate there? Mm. Definitely uh, sour cherry. Mm. For you, yeah, that's what it Big sour cherry. Uh, yeah. This is a tannin monster. I love it. I mean, serious mouth pucker. Woo! All throughout, really, really good tannin structure. Just, this is a pucker monster right here. Um, yeah, Maybe same. some celery. Celery? A little celery, yeah. Definitely green pepper. Yeah. On the, uh, Yeah, you know what? It's really weird. I almost get like a little bit of carrot mm. in there. Almost just, I don't know why. I don't know if, Gary, if you've ever tasted that in wine before, but almost a little bit of carrot. It's really weird. I, I like it. Um, but yeah, this is this is good stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me and this, there's, a, there's a smoker going off and the, the guys that own the bed and breakfast here uh, have cooked uh, some brisket all day. And uh, we're gonna enjoy this bottle of wine with some fresh brisket. But uh, mm. 
I get little pencil shavings. Okay. Some pencil shavings in there, a little bit uh, with the graphite. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, absolutely. This is great stuff. Phenomenal. Absolutely. It'll be good with the brisket. Fantastic effort. If you're ever in Bailey, try their uh, estate bottled Merlot uh, in Temecula Valley. It is just phenomenal. Great stuff. And if you ever happen to be driving uh, through Utah on the 89 freeway in between, where are we in between? Kanab and Page. Uh, I would absolutely recommend stopping by the Pariah Outpost restaurant slash bed and breakfast since they have one room. It's that exclusive. And um, yeah, this is great. And the barbecues uh, on Fridays and Saturdays. Barbecues on Fridays and Saturdays, phenomenal. So uh, Gary, we miss you. We hope you're having a great time. Congratulations on the new baby. We saw the video, absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm Dave. Janine. And we're signing off. We will see you soon. Cheers.